Okay, now suppose we have some universal set and a set contained in that universal set. So let's say set A. Then the complement of A is defined to be the set of elements which are in the universal set but are not in A. Okay, and we indicate the complement with this little tick mark here. Remember that a Venn diagram can be very useful in visualizing a set operation. In the previous video we looked at representations for the union and for the intersection. We can also represent the complement graphically using a Venn diagram. Of course, in this case, we only have one set, aside from that universal set. Okay, so we only have our set A here. And now to indicate the complement of A, I need to shade within the rectangle but outside of my oval. Here's my Venn diagram for the complement of A. Okay, let's look at three examples now to get the complements. First of all, we have universal set consisting of the elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And A is the set consisting of the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Then to get the complement of A, we look at our universal set and we see what elements in U are not in A. And clearly those would be 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And of course we're not restricted to examples involving numbers. Suppose U is the set of people uh, living in the United States and S is the set of people who smoke, then the complement of S would be those people who what? Don't smoke, right? And what if U is the set of cards in a 52 card deck and F is the set of face cards? then the complement of F would be what? The spot cards, right. Okay, our last set operation that I want to tell you about is the set difference, B minus A. This uses the same subtraction symbol that we're used to seeing with numbers, but you need to be careful because this is, doesn't work quite the same way that it does in arithmetic. Okay, and the way the set difference is defined uh, is the set of elements in the first set which are not in the second set. So for example we have B is the set of elements 3, 6, 9, 12 and A is the set of odd numbers and we want to find the set difference.
So then B minus A will be the set of numbers in B which are not odd. And that would be 6 and 12, wouldn't it? 